now in this video we're going to look at a circuit that I came up with a while ago but I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible for those that like short videos. So in any case we have LEDs here. You'll see those two LEDs are on unless I press the push button switch then that LED is on. And here is the schematic to help uh, visualize what's going on. So I'm using 9 volts right there. You can see it, power supply set to 9 volts and I'm using a 470 ohm resistor because that's really about the minimum resistance. This switch is oh, kind of coming loose. Plus if I bump the power supply, it might cut power a little bit. But in any case, 470 ohms is a good minimum resistance when you're using nine volts to protect an LED. You can go higher. The LEDs just won't be as bright. But in any case, right now we have this situation here. We got current flowing through. Again, I'm bumping the power supply. That's why the uh, LED flickered. So current's going to just flow through those two LEDs. The switch is open. It's basically as if that LED doesn't exist. The bottom of these push button switches are always connected right there. So we got the current going through the resistor and the two LEDs. The main point is they're building up somewhere between three and four volts, maybe a spec above four volts. But in any case, depending on how much current's going through them, goes up a little bit as current goes up. We have somewhere around four volts at uh, that point and then when I press the push button switch so now the other LED lights up and the reason why is because it takes about a volt and a half before that LED starts conducting when current really gets flowing good it builds up about uh, two volts or so and so this point here when the switch is closed remember only has about two volts that's not enough to get those two LEDs to start conducting they need at least about three volts and so that's all it does. It drops the voltage so much those turn off. And then of course when the switch is open then there's no current path for that LED. Now uh, keep in mind that uh, when it comes to the LEDs that's the anode, that's the cathode. So that's the longer lead, the shorter lead. So these ones the uh, positive is up higher so I got the longer lead up higher, the shorter lead, the cathode down lower. And then with uh, this LED the cathode is down below because when I close the switch that side is more positive, that side is more negative. So short lead cathode up there. In any case, that's it for this circuit, keeping it short. These are topics for other videos too in more depth, but uh, a lot of people like short videos, so I'm going to make more short ones. Hope you enjoy. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can, that helps out the most. I have links down in the